by you when you come to give testimonies in form of tributes to the celebrants. I welcome you all, family, members of ASU, from all our contiguous units to the University of Ivano, and members of ASU here in the University of Ivano, friends from far and wide, from Abuja, from Lagos, you are welcome. The celebrant of the day is joining us in a few minutes. He is already 
driving towards Esther. In time, I absolutely love the music you are hearing. The band that pushing it out is the Ati Tuba. And of course, you may not um, want to end up like uh, some of our celebrity friends who had to be taken to court for mutilating the Naira. That should still not stop you from appreciating the bank. They have a small tray here where you can drop your offerings if you are so moved. So ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the night. The next time I come here will be the time when I'm coming to invite you to give your tributes. Please, let's have fun. Thank you. 
But if you are interested, 
I'm going to take five tributes now. I can say tonight is a night of music, dance, food, drinks, and tributes. So if there's anybody here who would like to say one or two things about the celebrants of today, they should please indicate. Now is the moment for tributes. If you can all hear me, who is going to bear the card? Who is going to be the first to go? The floor is open for tributes. Who has anything to say? I'm only here to tributes for Rami Ola Patai Adiosu tributes for Rami Olu Ola tributes for Rami the chair Asu UI. Tributes for Bami. I have 15 minutes or less to do this before we go back to music. Or should we simply go back to music and close for today? Doctor Luyola, the floor is yours. I know I we, we, we have a lot to share, and I will just uh, mention a few. What do I say? Secondary school. And that secondary school was one that you needed to choose in common entrance. You are choosing on merit. And that school happens to be. Apple as this at a regular college. Incidentally, I was driven away from that school. After, when I was in Bobby, that is the that is the that is the only way of Bobby that he called me. And also when I was in Karate, I was also driven away. So it's no, uh, it's no coincidence that uh, in 1984, Bami Agba was also driven away from the rest of Glory. So we share that a lot. But come to it, uh, in terms of academics, for which we are celebrating Solar Glory of today, I do remember vividly that when he left the uh, English department for Institute of African Studies, at that time, after several years, I was promoted and he came visiting me in my house. And I asked him, I don't go to apply for promotion. He said, hey, promotion? <laughs> so we were just working. He kept working. Not for promotion, but for humanity. I was the one who persuaded him to put his papers together. And we started searching for papers, or from papers, or papers, for which he became a leader. So he is a very selfless person, very humane. Uh, he can give, he can give his last to everybody. Except he doesn't know that you are in need. If you say behind, beside him that you are lacking something, he will just come to you and say, this is the Mulungu. Mulungu. Baba Mulungu. 
Oh, blessed memory is uh, our Ekbon, who also attended the Ampu and known to most of us here. The late professor, Tayoti uh, Omon Lawo. Omon Lawo took, uh, shared something with me one day. He said he was teaching in the uh, Faculty of Education. And Shola came around. I said, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Then he said, ah, this Shola. So he left the class and went to him. When he got to him, he just said, Mulungu. And gave him. When he came to the staff club, he said, this man gave me 20,000 naira. What is it for? I said, what did he say? He said, Mulungu. <laughs> I said, the money is for you. He said, ah, how did you know that I don't have money? I said, were well, you sitting together yesterday night? He said, yes. That's who for that. I don't want to take up the time. I can continue to talk and talk and talk about Sola. I don't know He is my brother. He protects me a lot. I know that. Let me share one other, one other, uh, one other simple event. He was in... Uh, Jaja, courtesy of uh, Larry Olado Ibu, admission officer. Jaja, admission officer. He also admitted me on the number of officials there. So uh, he was there and called me and said, You know what I think? I'm, uh, that I'm resident in, uh, in Jaja. I said, What happened? He said, You don't need a usual attack. I said, Okay, I'm coming. So I got there. I thought I would talk, you would not be too straightforward in talking. So I just heard about money and all that. I had 20,000 in my pocket. So I, I gave him 10,000. He laughed. I said, See, this is my brother. He's giving me money. By the time I left the place, he said that uh, my wife should make uh, a okay, a cam for him, which he loves so much. So as I was going home from Jaja to Sankuri, by the time I got to Sotabilu area, I just I saw an alert. It was a 100,000 naira that he, that he sent to me. Yes, so to, yeah, that's my own Mulungu. <laughs> so now I can continue to talk and talk. Uh, the, the issue is that the chair is well earned. You worked for it and you stayed for it. You know, it's been a tortuous journey for you. I know you are in Nicaragua after after you left Fela. Uh, in Nicaragua, after you left the rest of Lori and all that. And I started work here in 1990. In 1991, he was here as an undergraduate. Because when he was driven away from the rest of Lori, he was in the final year, 100 level there. In 1984. Yes. So he came back as an undergraduate here. He was running a diploma at uh, OAU, another diploma at Unilag. He used to have, uh, uh, he used to have what, well, Tuke, 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 uh, what do you call it, uh, all these uh, cows. So he would leave the place, come to UI, from UI. Go to effect. That's not just all. Let me talk a bit about journalism. I do know that uh, he was involved in in uprooting Abacha. Yes, his elder brother, uh, uh, the quintessential Napolo Yomi, who used to be in the news. The news, the magazine they called the news. And then when the news was uh, was banned, then it started tempo. And only a few of us knew uh, the, 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 the knew about tempo there because see tempo. It will come from Lagos around this time and deliver after going to Okebad. Okay, Deliver that shola. We carry the news from Lagos. Uh, we carry tempo from Lagos. Bring in the night to Ibadan. 
I used to be the distributor in UI of Tempo. He would hand over Tempo to me. He would still go to Ife. From Ife, he would go, he would go as far as we need. He was the one doing it. And I remember that when I used to go last started the, uh, this magazine, this Wednesday, Wednesday magazine. I've forgotten the name now. If anybody remember. Monitor. 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 Yes. Himself and high priest were there. Incidentally, they were also using monitor to distribute temple. And I know why he left the place. Because they were <laughs> they, they actually were writing things that were against what the the founder really wanted. Now I want to say that uh, Shola, you deserve this honor even more than this. And I pray that the chair you have taken, that you took merit, that you will continue to do for humanity even more than what you have done. I know also that is a unionist, but I don't want to talk about about unionism because my uh, my chairman is here and uh, some of our uh, very high uh, ASU, ASU members are here. They will talk about that aspect. And, uh, okay, let me not say that. Somebody else will say it, but uh, let me hint at it. Shola will come on stage and want to deliver a lecture. And he will put a laptop in front of him or a paper You'll be surprised that there will be nothing in it. <laughs> and you'll be talking as if he's reading. <laughs> I discovered this when we went for NEC at Lasso. And then he gave a report as a resource person in charge of students. <laughs> when he gave the report, I was sitting directly with uh, the Geomoli, Professor the Geomoli, and then he said, said to me, look at your brother. There is nothing in that laptop, he's always touching. <laughs> I said, you don't mean it. He said, ah. that you don't believe me. I said, ah. <laughs> then, comrade, uh, our president then, I forgot his name now. Now, after he delivered the, he gave the report and all that, the president now said, this is a very beautiful report, uh, comrade. So now, Lord, Lord, please, we will want to have a copy of this for documentation. <laughs> he said, okay, sir, okay, sir, I left the stage. When we were going for uh, breakfast, I saw you typing on the, on the computer. Then he told me, he's just writing the report now. <laughs> uh, I pray for you, sir. Like, uh, I'll look more in. Vashiriri. 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 Thank you very much, Omniata. Now, um, if you don't have Salah Oloriyomi in your corner, if you do not have Salah Oloriyomi in your corner, you do not have a corner. That's as far as that my own interjection is going to be. Kabadiko, you have something to say. Professor Dixon. A chai. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if I were not here this evening, I would have missed out a lot. Shola, my brother, has been celebrated. I was almost going to miss out out of this occasion. 
Initially, I was not going to talk. But what turned me, as we are seated here, is that an emeritus professor of sociology is an amist who does not have a single black strand on his head any longer. Incidentally, this professor who could be father to any one of us here, a professor of sociology, an emeritus professor at that, decided to keep his brain working, decided to come back to the one and only first and best university in Nigeria and perhaps of Saharan Africa. Professor Mal Wago is an amiss. Please can we all give Baba a standing ovation for being an amiss. Baba, it's a pleasure having you in amiss. Please have your seats. Your children are here. Like I said, I was not going to have a talk about Shola. Shola is my brother. But that Baba is here. Please, you can see half of it. That Baba is here with us. We'll tell you the import of who we are celebrating. Baba came back. She wants his brain active. Decided to become a student at the Institute of African Studies. And I was going to wonder how or not they are very senior people in the institute. Why did they choose Shola? Where is Shola to supervise Baba? Can you imagine? Baba, we are most grateful for your presence in our midst. You will achieve your aim. You will achieve your objective of coming back to keep the brain alive. I welcome you into our midst. I'm very grateful for celebrating your boy, Shola Olon Yomi. Thank you so much. Where's the MC? The MC has disappeared. <laughs> Yes, sir. So, who is the next person who is going to say, I've got no three more? Before you go back to music, I want to eat. And then, I should check. Okay, you can do it. Thank you very much. Well, who is Bami Chef? <laughs> Bami, so many things to so many people. So it's just like the elephant. In the village, say if an elephant has been put down, people will come with different knives and they'll be cutting different parts. And then someone will say, ah, this is chicken meat. Another person, this is uh, goat meat. Another person will say, this is uh, ram. That's Shola Lord Yomi for you. He's a multidisciplinary, multifaceted, multi whatever you can put. Multi, hey, is that talented? A multi aluta. So I he's he's been in the trenches for he's been in the trenches for forever. Yes. He's a typified struggle with clear headed directive. We in the academic staff union of university, the whole Nigeria, we cannot but appreciate this man. And uh, in uh, fulfillment of that, I have here all the way from Calabar, comrade Professor Anika Brown. The middle person of the of our union. Zoom. Sorry. We are talking to you. Talk 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 to you. 
And then one of, we have two AKs in ASU. One is in Ibadan, the other one is in Unilag. The chairman of ASU Unilag, AK 47, Professor Adebayon, the chairman is there. And then we have. A, if, if it were in the in the Kaga, they would say Metusela chief. A Metusela chairman is here. Chairman before, 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 before of Asu Junab. Professor Biodo Badmos is here. And the last but definitely not the least is a veteran of repute. You can call him Elijah, you can call him a leader. Is a professor of aerospheric physics, whatever that means. <laughs> professor I like that. Elijah Oyeyemi from Unilab. So that to tell you the kind of person we are here to spend the evening with. But to say a little about him because time is well more spent, I will call on Professor, I mean Doctor Lily Ashiru. So please come forward and speak two minutes come about this man. Come I have, I hope it will be not the end. He will not give us the Aluta, the Aluta chorus. Come with that, you know. So, okay, you be a good idea, so you ever be doing me on Tara Tara Gopo. Thank you very much. Good evening. Maybe before Dele speaks, let me take the occasion to say that I read about him, the Lorraine matter and the rest of them. So the first day I had, I went in contact with him, physical contact with him, was during the NDC hosted by the University of Abuja, 2012. And honestly speaking, approaching him, I was a little scared, having known the kind of person he was. He became a very simple looking fellow, very soft and he spoke softly and I had the honor of being assisted by the current dean faculty of arts University of Uyo, Joe Uche. So it was Joe Uche that narrowed his social space and I got to begin to really like him. He has also taught me that while growing up you can be war-headed but when you grow old the war-headed achievement but the tactical approach will be different. I am glad that by some circumstance I found myself here Ibadan. in Ibadan and then I made a call and that call informed me that Shola is being celebrated. I'd like to submit by saying Ebon Oremi Pataki Oremi Atata Ejo Oluwabukufun Thank you for accepting to serve the one that is higher than us as an inspiration for many of us. Thank you and God bless. Thank you very much. 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 I go to Duba, I Duba, I I Okay, <laughs> Tiwa <laughs> 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 
you know, in the Lorry. Is that name? When I enter University of Lorry, those of us from Unilorry Aziz, it is Shola Mike. When I enter University of Lorry in 1995, that Shola Mike was one of those who at least created the tradition we met on the ground of student activism in the University of Lorry. And I know that that name then in the university was like an household name. And when I became the assistant secretary of the union, that was in 1990, 1997, yes, in the University of Ilorin. And I remember when we go to meetings with the university management, because the University of Ilorin, you know, management then, even now, very conservative and extremely vicious. They are only so, they don't want to just punish you, they want to kill you, they want to destroy you, they want to make you a bad reference point. And they will tell you, hey, Rashidat, do you know Shola Mike? You know we expelled him in 1984. I said yes. You expelled him on a you know, unjust cause. And we are here you know, to defend the tradition that he created here. And at the end of the day, even when, because even myself, the persecution, I don't want to even start talking about it now. I was expelled, suspended, prosecuted, and the rest. And some of us, we had to go to court, got injunction, for us to even graduate from university. But unfortunately for them, here we are today, celebrating, you know, Sholamai. He was not expelled based on academic, you know, failure and whatever, based on students who don't listen. That is to show you that he's a very, very, very brilliant personality. And that is why he was able to attain the highest, you know, level. That is the profile, you know, our Professor title today. Even me today. I got my certificate, I came back, I studied law, and I'm now a lawyer. So what they wanted to achieve with us, unfortunately for them, they could not achieve it. They wanted to place up a bad reference point. But where we are, you know, today. And one of the, the most interesting parts, Comrade Shola Mike still remain extremely committed and dedicated to that course. He has not moved across to the other side. That is the most interesting part. That is what we are celebrating here today. And I want to say that we appreciate your commitment, your dedication, and your steadfastness. And we say that struggle continues until total victory. That total victory for us is when we overthrow this blood sucking system of capitalism and we enthrone a better, humane system. On heart. Solidarity forever. And yes, that's our story. It's the story of our. Okay, now from the wife to the husband. It's a, we are all one family. And <laughs> from the cousin. Isoleto. I remember the first time I heard of the name. The picture, the person telling me in the University of Illinois, I was also in Illinois in 93. No, that's not where I met. <laughs> we met in 1990, far before Illinois. The picture they gave us that time was a very giant man. Always looking fierce and tough. Just as Comrade Rashida mentioned, the only weapon in the hand of the go of the school authority that time is do you want to be like Sholamai? So I was probably was on the road picking papers that they successfully destroyed him. It was several years later I met him in Lagos. Jaff Joint Action Front meeting. He sat quietly. Our comrade Aremsi said, This is Shola Olonu Yomi. I was almost opening floor and bent myself. That I never believed that somebody with that kind of personality would be extremely humble. I deliberately emphasize this. I wish we have some of these young young guys who are just coming up, who thought that, um, I don't want to mention him, that people in the past have not made so much sacrifice. Comrade Shola Mike, to Ross, 
who came in that time? When people mention prophets, Jesus, Muhammad, we believe without any doubt that this man, if you say, this is the only thing that will save humanity, just allow yourself to be crossed. He will just willingly surrender himself. He was never trained for military. He carried gun. I mean, you may not know. He actually went to Nicaragua for revolution. That if you're ready, I'm also ready to join you. He was never a member of that, you know, a citizen of that country. That's to tell you the extent this man. And when we now eventually come to know who he was, all the sacrifices that majority of for some of us now eventually made was actually inspired by him. And that's why we can't just imagine celebrating him today without being around to celebrate him. To us, um, I'm sorry for the Christians, I'm sorry for the Muslims. It's exactly the same character that majority worship that we consider him to be. And that's exactly what he is to be. Thank you. Thank you very much, Comrade. Solidarity! Solidarity! Good evening, everybody. Yes, thank you so much. It will be a disservice to us if we are not here tonight. And I'm happy that Comrade Rasida has equally said it. That everything I have to be here. And we thank God we are here. In life, you meet someone somewhere for a purpose. I came to invest such a and I thank God. We were trained as comrades. Everything that we are today, not by accident. We have seen some people, some people as our role model. During the time when you are was you are. No, 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 let me see that now. I'm talking about student union is Yes. There was serious crisis. My network was on our neck. Just to kill us, forget about it. Then one morning, everybody who had this two, had this two, who wrote a this two? So, we saw you there. How about today, Professor Olorun Yomi? That was what destroyed the management day. Because everybody was reading it and what is this? What is wrong with Olorun Yomi? What is this? What is this? What is that? And we, we two will try to get their history. We read it and we made it. You see in life, nothing can change my destiny, nothing can change it. Professor Olorun Yomi today, because I have a lot better the time that we are talking about now, that we are talking about. Uh, it became the responsibility of my own generation of uh, student leaders to uh, implement the, the charter. And so, um, I'm happy to be here uh, today to celebrate with uh, a, a mentor, uh, a brother, a kinsman. I'm also open. The reason why I was a bit reluctant to speak was because my other brother, Dr. Ogo uh, Neona, had already spoken, and I felt that it's not a message. But I also felt that there's a need for me to justify the flight ticket from a book that we can see for not uh, resident in the body. And to just say this to all of us. Yesterday when I arrived, I went straight to uh, the staff room, senior staff floor, to meet Professor Mark. Mark. We had a conversation. I took so many things from there. But one of the things I took from Professor Mark's uh, uh, interlocution with me is the word, we do not know how to be happy. We seem not to know how to be happy. We are busy quarreling and fighting each other. And we leave the major issues. I picked that from so many other things that I've had in our conversation. How does this resonate with uh, the life of our brother, Professor Lomi Yomi? 
life is for others. If there is anything that totalizes the essence of Professor Lorigami, it is the fact that he believes that life should be lived for other persons. And so, anyone who desires happiness, if you want to know the true meaning of happiness, you know, you have to begin to live your life for other people. He is a professor today, giving us the possibility that it's possible for people like us to, you know, to be professionals of that. And that's why I said, I'm just a practical of this inspiration. When I was thrown out at the University of Cambodia, with about 45 others, you know, uh, I didn't, I mean, I remember the registrar telling me that I won't even have the first degree. And but this morning, Professor Long, you know, rallied other people right here in the UI to get people to review the book I wrote, which of course took oxygen from my doctoral thesis in South Africa. And I'm also a product of UI because I did my master's at CNA here. But my first degree took me 10 straight years because people like Professor Laurie Yomi gave us that inspiration that it may take long, but at the end of the day, you will get to your destination. It was, it was, there was one writer, one American writer, who said, uh, every gold man riches provides a new starting point, and the sum of all man's gifts is just the beginning. For us, this night we will toast my brother and kinsman, and my inspirer, my enabler, my mentor, Professor Long, because we know that this is just the beginning. Thank you very sincerely for listening to me. Thank you. Uh, good evening, everybody. I I want to st stand on the existing protocol. My name is Ola Deosu. Well, it has been established. I just want to, be, I'll try to be as brief as possible because everybody has spoken. And uh, I, at the point I felt there is nothing, uh, nothing for me to say, but I just have to say this. Uh, Professor Law, you know me? Everybody has said everything about him. Uh, is that person from whom, I mean, I came to the University of Ibadan and one way or the other, in the course of the struggle I came across, then uh, Dr. Long Yomi. In fact, Mr. Shalom Long Yomi. Yes, as he was. Yes, as he was. Then I, I, everything being said about him was about that very tough human being. But when you meet him, you meet a soft human being. And one gets confused. There's this contradiction, I mean, which appears very material. But apart from his struggles, the, his humanity attracts me more. In the course of our struggles, just like every other person has said, he sacrifices his all. Even when he's at a point, at the point of death, that some of us even thought he was doing. Instead of struggling to have himself back, he was struggling to ensure that our struggle succeeds in the students' union you know, back then. I was speaker of students' union. You know. If I recall, uh, he, was, he had a house then at uh, Old Bodija. Then let me share his story. He had one jalopy like that. That jalopy had a... Uh, that truck had some mechanical issue, he parked it in front of his house. Then it was yes, with the bicycle at the back. Then the vehicle was there. One day somebody came around, I think the vehicle had a very minor fault, he left it there. Somebody was now complaining about the tire of his own car, that the tire of his car was bad. And uh, the, the, the comrade of law, me said, he should remove the tire of, the, of his own truck that he parked there. You know, it was like a joke, and me, I thought he was joking. Before you know it, he brought somebody to bring the jack, and they removed all the tires of his car. And fixed it in the other person's car, and I was like, what sort of woman do you And that was how that his truck remained there, and they were removing parts from it to fix other people's cars. And that was the end of that truck, till today. So what I was at the paper hall this morning. I was at the 
Dr. J. Thomas scholarship. And uh, once in a while, the attention went to Professor Lorian because uh, Dr. J. Thomas himself sees himself in the mold of the Lorian. And at a point, I started pondering about the self-destructive nature of the Nigerian university system. The kind of system that did not benefit from the inaugural of somebody like Sheikh Moshoba. <laughs> and uh, the system that feels there's nothing wrong that Sheikh Moshoba did not deal at the inaugural. The system that consistently abuses power just to make some people feel good. So I think in a way, uh, for me, it's as though we are here tonight to celebrate the futility of uh, wickedness, of evil, of people being morally wrong and celebrating it. Because we see a person that has gone through all the vicissitudes of this deliberate wickedness and somebody who each time this iniquity is visited upon him he keeps telling the people who are visiting this iniquity this thing is going to come back to visit you and despite all odds we are here to, this evening gathered to celebrate professor shola Oloriomi. It is a great victory. Uh, people have spoken about uh, how he got where he is now. Uh, some of us also knew about his uh, escapade with uh, Professor Gasilba. And uh, he will come to people like us and say, Ah, see, what do you think? You can take this in this direction. And say, Just get your PhD first. <laughs> so, that today we are celebrating Dr. Shola Yomi. It's a great victory for us. It's a great, great victory for scholarship. Because we have... Uh, Nigeria is not short of PhDs. Nigeria is not short of professors. But what Nigeria is short of is intellectuals. Nigeria is not short of academics. But Nigeria is grossly short of intellectuals. So when we have occasions like this to celebrate an intellectual. It tells us that there is still hope. Because I remember the words of um, uh, Professor Abu Salam, the first non-Caucasian to get the Nobel Prize in Physics. He said it is individuals that change societies. Groups may follow. Other, they, they may, they may inst instigate and inspire other people. But fundamentally, it is individuals that change society. So it is a victory for good today that we are celebrating Professor Shola Olonyomi. Shola, may your days be long. Amen. Shola, may you continue to succeed. May you continue to confound those who have been abusing power and those who your success will cause to rethink and cause others to rethink and cause systems to readjust such that the Nigerian university system can achieve what it was established for. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Uncle Tinaligwala. Um, Baba Mark Muago. Right now, not at some point, right now, because we are about to leave here now. My tenancy expired at 9 o'clock. I'm inviting you to come and propose a toast. A toast. To, so I'm bringing the microphone to you. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello. Toast starts with T. And T starts with thanks. And T stands for thanks. So let me put up for...
at the library, my good friend, Mufusola. He's a new one. Again, tears come in. You don't put a bit like that. What is? You brought tears to my eyes. You brought tears to my come eyes. On, so on, thank bro. you very much. Come on, bro. Now you must be asking, how how is it in this world that Mahuangu found Shola Olorunyo? That, that is a story that goes back when I was writing. You see, they start. Oh God, have mercy on my journey. Come on. Let us love one. And, oh, what am I going to say? Let's be at the staff club together, one another, being together, dancing, laughing, crying, whatever the case may be. I am my one word because I have friends. My friends at the staff club have made me what I am today in this university. Look at Ola. He honored me many years ago on my writing in the White House and an author. And I, as a fellow of the Academy of Science, he's here. Look at this the, 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 the Nigeria honoring me. My son asked me, what, what's a black hair going to do on your head at 87? I saw, I saw, oh, he came, he left Abuja. Left Abuja and came straight to the staff club to meet me. That staff club has given me friends. And finally, as, you, as I would say, in the dying days of Mahmoud's uh, existence on this earth, he has given me Shola Oborigami. I met him at the staff club, at the senior staff club in the University of Ibadan. I had written my book, my first work of uh, oh, fiction, my, um, Forever Chimes. And it was to read it and guide me and lead me in literature. Then I told the Osavisa, I said, no, I saw him, I said, you have not read this book. You have not done it. I was very angry with him. I get it. No, I'm a very difficult. Don't play with me or I can be, I can, I can be impossible. <laughs> yes, yes. I gave it to him. So he says, oh, Mark, you should be, hey, take it easy now. You should be softer. He will take it very poorly, badly, and he's going to feel terrible. Ah, he will, I said, oh, I didn't know. I'm very sorry. I don't know what I did after that. <laughs> Maybe I expressed my uh, uh, sorrow or uh, 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 regret uh, uh, somehow. Next time around, I had a book, My Eyes Dance. And um, I didn't give it to him to read or anything like that. But I invited him to the, to the presentation, and he came with his daughter. The daughter read um, a, a, a review of Chi. Uh, uh, and Chi. I've, I've been, you know, she wrote it down, she can't find, he cannot find the script. Then I wrote the second, third book, uh, I Am Kagara. The daughter wrote a review of I Am Kagara, it's in um, one of the papers. But that is the literary part of my poem. My poems, oh, they are there. Early not of they are there. Yeah. But then, when my dad wife passed on in 2018, I wrote a a new work of poetry for her. Uh, uh, oh, time came upon me. I gave it to Shola. I said, please oh, do a blog for me on this. Uh, Shola wrote on my by hand. Prop, prop, prop. I will, I will type it. I said, no, no, this is enough for me. I use, we use that. He typed and sent to me later. That was 2019. Then I got to writing my, I wrote my dream dance, my, um, my, my memoirs. He didn't, it wasn't more than one That was 2022. So last year, this story was the, I, oh God, have mercy on me. Amen. It will be told somehow. I was with a friend. We go back a long time ago, we were talking. April 25, 2023, I was with him. Talking about in CBD, I said, I will do a book on this. Then I said, no, no, Mark, a book now. You just go and copy, read. Uh, then I, I changed my mind. I said, no, no, no. I'll do a thesis on this. I said, okay, I'll support you. I said, okay, I'll go to Ebada and I'll come up with a, a research project. I don't know I, I don't know anything without that frightening you. If you don't know anything, go and find out. I tell him, okay, I'll go to the method of Ebada and I will uh, take a look at the papers and I'll come back to you with a, with a proposal. I think it's at that time that I met, <laughs> I came to Shola at a parking lot in front of a UI hotel. <laughs> and I said, hey, you will be my supervisor. I just told him, you will be my supervisor. 
Can you exactly? On May, then I arrived on May 16. May 17 last year, I registered for the PhD. I thought it was an anthropology. I didn't even know. <laughs> I thought it was an anthropology. I registered for anthropology. I found out it's called cultural and media. I said, oh, no, 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 it's not anthropology, it's cultural and media. Why they talk in the institute, why we have to present ourselves, etc. I did that and then I became a student. Come on. Why, inshallah, that nobody. I didn't no, I'm not the one to say it. <laughs> Me, you said it in the um, in a, a post on uh, Facebook. I must be the oldest student in Nigeria. Come on. PhD student. If I'm the oldest student, <laughs> what who is looking after me? <laughs> you know, who is, see, all of you together, as you say, Shola is mentor, Shola is uh, leader, Shola, so all of you together personified in this gentle uh, tradition. I mean, you want me to go? <laughs> personified in this uh, Shola. You're all present in him and present in me, and he's taking me places, he has given me terms. Or where we are going to do things. I am a fellow of that. Please, I'm a, the only Nigerian, absolutely, a fellow of the Nigerian Academy of Science, a fellow of the Nigerian Academy of Science. Nobody has these two distinctions. And now, he goes to be a student of Shola. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The, to the toast is okay. The, I, uh, please, we have um, we, we have uh, 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 we, we have someone who is is very special. My love for him is the, as the person. My love is that he will take me and I will listen to him. And he will lead me and I'll be with him as she has been with him, and he will take me higher and higher still. I believe that he knows it. We will go. We, we, he started in the womb. He did some work in the womb. <laughs> and me, womb bitch, and me, where I'm starting is even from the fertilized egg before yeah. it gets into the womb as it's going up, up, up the ovary into the uterus. So we found ourselves together in the womb, in growth. A wonderful man. A cheerful man, a leader, indestructible, fearless, dogged, indestructible, indefatigable, a wonderful person. He is my supervisor, he is my teacher. I bow to him. All of us, we drink to his health. All the drinks to Shola, Pastor Shola, and the Lord. One more thing. When he became prophet, don't excuse me, please. I'm no face. When you became professor, I said, I'm happy you became a professor, 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 and now you're a student. <laughs> a professor to be a professor as a student. Congratulations. Please, Woo! happy, what did you say? Um, happy, what did you say? Hooray! Hooray! John, a good fellow! Hooray! Professor Mark Wagner, I call on Shola Alorio to give two sentences in appreciation of all that is there. Yeah. Two sentences. Shola Alorio, I'm president. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, 
Other than to express profound gratitude to us all, um, let me start from there. Uh, my folks, only go see the There are no short journeys in life. Um, even on your bed, still a journey. You will have accidents sometimes. Uh, Proverbs. So I trust you understand that. So may I wish us a safe journey as we journey back. When as we join in our sleep, in our sleep night. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I noticed you were absent, and I discovered that um, somehow they coded it so much that they forgot to inform me. Sorry about that. Sorry. Thank you so much, Come on. Uh, the Something happened to Steve and Steve. Steve just chose to be. Uh, we're there in some kind of Australia. Uh, we are still part of this continent. Uh, we are grateful. Say hello to your table uh, and the next. Well, uh, Uncle Amola uh, and the call of the new land. This is rifled up everything, and I think appropriately the way it's centered, you know, Baba. Uh, I think part of the significance of today is the fact that Professor Mark Wagon found the time and joyfully so too to be here with us. Um, we can't be more grateful, sir. Oh my God, I thought I was a little crap there. You know where the point is, you always find that little crowd that it's dissipated. I don't want to see it disappear. It's dissipated. Okay, um, Proverbs, they understand, uh, they, they, they are too shy to be openly acknowledged. Uh, that's a, that's a terror theory table there. Uh, yeah, and I don't, I don't want to be labor it. Proverbs of Proverbs, Proverbs are never your hand. <laughs> and by the way, we really love your own presentation today too. Do, do you remember that powerful detail? Yeah. The, no, no, he's the one there. The major presentation on the theatre. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, welcome, sir. I, I lost a bit of my voice. My family is left here, yeah, but you see that man? God damn it! God damn it! Oh, my dog! <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Uh, I don't want to talk about rational ideology. This is too close. It's like incest. It's too much. It's like incest. What can I really say about my books? I should go. I should go, my dog. I'm really, really grateful. Uh, you know, uh, so, coverage. What can I say? I hope you, you know, I, 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 I feel fulfilled that these ideas won't die. Yeah, um, humanity will move on and on. It may be slow. Uh, this will be kinder on us. This will be kinder. It's just the last thing we And I come to my God. Adibola. Let me let me say something. Just last thing. Oh, this Adibola man. You see, uh, there are so many crazy Nigerians. There's so much was said about me. You know the same things that were said about me. We could have said it about Ashiru and said it about again and again and this is because you know it's you know that normal. I mean, are you people who are giving the pressure and saying it's about me? No. This I, I can't say it's not normal because I know uh, Adibola. You know, about about the first time I met this man, he just heard about me. I'm not, you, you thought it was crazy. You, uh, people are removing tires. The guy was going to England. Met me, I said, you are Shola? I, I said, yeah. I said, um, okay. Uh, I hear you are going to some place in VI. Could you help me do this? And do you know what was happening? He was buying a house. He gives it to, you no, know, it tells the family to hide the money to a near total stranger. 
And in fairness, I think the family came. So whatever happened, but I thought I was well dressed. <laughs> but, but whatever they saw, maybe they called him. I said, yes, that precisely that scene. And it took like 40 minutes or something. And I buy a house. It looked so big. I was like, wow, this is oh, big, big, big money. Okay, this is how big money is. I never <laughs> see that kind of big when I read about it. It just looked like big and not too convenient. Because it was heavy having to shift distance around. That's the kind of person he also is, you know. Uh, so we thank you. I'm from you. My HOD music, wherever you are, and uh, the, the, entire, yeah, the, the entire family of music, we really appreciate you. Uh, family of UMC, Abogo. Nice before we leave. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 I Yes, we are by nine. So this music is for you to down your beer. Dance. Get to the dance floor for another ten minutes match. And then we clear your table. And you go to your home. Everybody. 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 Everybody.